Good morning, welcome to another video. We're just vlogging today, okay? It's a Wednesday, which means it's a rest day, which means we're going to work at a coffee shop with Alicia. So right now I am just packing up my things. I've already had breakfast in my whole morning routine, which I'm posting a reel today in my time. Um, but I wanted to show you what I do here. So I have my little Buff Bunny Game Changer bag, which honestly I need a new one because yeah, this is, this has been through many a trip, but I love this bag so, so much. So anyways, the bottom here, I'm gonna unzip that. I'll put a little freezer pack in there and then I have a meal here that I'm bringing. It's just jasmine rice, ground beef and corn. That way I have lunch. So I typically stay at the coffee shop till like 1230 ish. Today I'm gonna run up, run to the grocery store after, um, but I, I time it out because I live next to a school and they get out early on Wednesdays and driving through that and trying to get into my own driveway is a nightmare. People park in the way. They're not nice. It's just, so I try to avoid that. So anyways, that's my plan for today. I'm going to pack all this stuff up and we're going to go to the coffee shop. Look who it is. Hello. You've been on my vlogs before. I think for so. sure. Probably at like sunsets or something. I was just gonna say that sunset dates. We need to make more dates. My goal for February is one sunset per week minimum. I saw that and I got inspired. Nick and I talked about that last night. We're like, we need to do that too. Dude, let's all do it. I know, it's becoming like warmer again. Yeah. Also, what are we doing here? We are just working. It's nice to get out of the house sometimes. And we're also going to dinner tonight. So It's a day full of Alicia, honestly. <laughs> We gotta do a midday break in between yeah. though. We can't just do a whole day with me. That's too much. Oh god. Yeah, so lover, here we are. Okay, so leaving Lay Coffee Shop now. It is the nicest it has been in San Diego all year. I think today it's like yeah, 86 degrees. It's like kinda windy. I'm so here for it. I live for the warmth, like duh, because I live here, but you just forget how good it feels when it's like actually this warm. 86 degrees, dude. Today is February 9th. Like, yes, I live for it. So anyways, I'm going to talk to y'all once I get into my car because now I'm about to go to the grocery store and we're having some hormonal issues again, which is super frustrating. I've just like been going through it the last month or so with this. So we're going to approach things from a nutrition standpoint, which I will uh, explain once I get in the car here. Okay. I'm not going to be driving. I just had to get in the car. We got the, we got the AC on. It's kind of strange. Um, I'm actually going to put the windows down after I get off here and drive over to the store. Uh, but before I start any of this, first, please know I am not pregnant. <laughs> okay. Secondly, it is physically impossible <laughs> for me to be pregnant. So with that disclaimer, <laughs> Today is day 42 of this cycle, meaning it has been 42 days since I had a period. And typically my period or my cycles are 32 to 35 days long, which is like a little bit longer um, than like maybe the average cycle. If you know, if you think it's four weeks, it's 28 days, but that's very normal for me. My mom has longer cycles, so it's just genetic. And honestly, if you are anywhere between like 25 and like 40 ish days, um, that's like relatively normal. You don't really need to be worried about anything until you're like outside those ranges. Everyone's different. It's not a hard and fast rule. But this is uh, just abnormally long for me. And for the longest time, I just like couldn't figure out why. So basically everything with this cycle has been so long and drawn out. So my last period was actually like eight days long, which is very bizarre. Like usually they're like five, maybe, maybe six. Um, but it just kept dragging on and on. And I was like, can we not like, can we just be done? Then when I ovulated this month, which I'm confident that I did ovulate because my temperature, um, went up and it stayed there, which is what your temperature does after you ovulate. 
took me 27 days to ovulate and that whole process felt like a week long. I just like felt so shitty for so long. And then you enter into your luteal phase and I've just felt like shit for almost two weeks. Like I've basically been PMSing for so long and I'm like, can we please just get this show on the freaking road? And it's not happening. Like I said, today is day 42. She's still not here. I have all the signs. Like I know she's coming. She's going to show up on her own time. My body, I'm trying to talk nice to her because that's what I needed to do during my recovery too. After my three years of no period, I restored my period. If you don't know, summer of 2020. So it's been like a year and a half of regular periods. So I'm over here just wondering like, okay, what is going on? <laughs> because this is just really strange. Like I know I'm eating enough. I eat like 2,100, 2,200 calories every day. I'm not too lean. I've had a regular period for a year and a half. I just got labs done in December and all my hormones were fine. Um, they were within range and like mostly optimized like there was really nothing glaring standing out there and the only thing I could think is like maybe this is I, I haven't felt stressed the last month or so but I'm thinking maybe this is a delayed stress response from how stressed I was at the end of 2021 because those last few months like I was going through the ringer like I have not felt that stressed and anxious maybe ever yes when I was in law school but it was just it was a different kind of stress um meaning this past stress had to do with like had to deal with like running a business and being in charge of people and having hard conversations and taking care of finances and like livelihood and all of that whereas in law school it was just like this class sucks <laughs> you know what I mean so I could not for the life of me figure out like what is going on and so um I told my coach Alex this in my check-in and I'm I was like, I'm just gonna get his opinion first before I like talk to too many people because I don't want like a bunch of opinions. I'm smart, I know I, I can figure this out. And so what we're gonna do here is rearrange my macros a little bit, which Alex doesn't do my nutrition, but I share with him like, hey, here's the macros I have myself on. Um, Cause I did start tracking a couple of months ago, like a month ago. And um, so I was doing 140 protein, 275 carb, like 50 fat, but really I was falling more between like 40 and 50, which spoiler alert, I know for my body is just not enough. It's just not enough. I know that from my past macro tracking experience and my past, um, just like biofeedback and how my periods have gone. So Alex says, we're going to do 140 protein, 230 carb, and 75 grams of fat. So dietary fats are very, very supportive for your hormonal health. If you don't get enough, things just aren't going to be working properly. And again, it's not even that like I'm trying to eat low fat. I just, that's just kind of where I've been landing. Again, anywhere from like 40 to 50 grams, never below 40. But now after Alex presented that to me, I was like, Okay, that's definitely gonna play a role in things because, and I didn't say this to him before my check-in because I didn't want to be like all over the place, but or, or like planting seeds, but I did go back and look at my labs and my progesterone was within range, um, but it was like borderline low and progesterone is what you need to ovulate. So back when I didn't have a period and most women, when they're not having a period is because they're not ovulating. They're not ovulating because they don't have enough progesterone. So you're just stuck in your follicular phase. So I'm, thinking um, that that's got to be the root cause here between stress and borderline low progesterone and me just further exacerbating the progesterone issue with not eating enough dietary fats. So <laughs> I feel way better. This is why I have a coach. I would knew he would have some wizardry answers to this because he obviously works with a lot of female clients with hormonal. We, I mean, we all got hormonal stuff going on, right? So yeah, I'm gonna go to the grocery store now. I will show you what I get when I get home. Um, but this is not my first rodeo because I had to be very intentional with my nutrition when I was recovering. So basically just focusing on whole foods, um, fruits, veggies, and dietary fats. Honestly, with having the lower carbs, that's gonna help me get in more fruits and veggies because right now it's like my carbs are high and I'm just full. And it's very hard for me to like eat enough fruits and veggies throughout the day. I do eat them, but there's always room for improvement. So I'm actually really excited to switch things up a little bit and just solve this problem because I literally have been so beside myself, like stressing out even more every single day that passes that I don't get this freaking period 
because I just like my mind went worst case scenario I was like googling like how early can you get menopause and like I was like what if I'm infertile and like I can't have babies someday and I'm like okay that's not the case at all like we are fine I'm like 20 years too young for menopause and I've had a regular period for a year and a half anyways so this is just a little bump in the road but I figured I would share that here um this is the first time I've talked about it on social media I haven't said anything on Instagram yet so you're along for the ride now um but anyways I'm gonna head over there and I will see you at home I come home to the snugs every time isn't that right you were sleeping weren't you <laughs> he's so cute your birthday's next month you also need your claws trimmed because you're getting stuck on everything. Okay, so back from the store. Trader Joe's is right next to Ralph's where I go or where I just went just now. So I went to both because I just I have my preferences. But anyway, from Ralph's, I got salmon. I got a couple things of guacamole. And I picked up some other random stuff. Those are like the fat source focus there but I also picked up some of the Alexia brand sweet potatoes they're out of the puffs everywhere there's a poof shortage and it makes me so sad I told too many people about them and now now they're all stock so anyways got those picked up some more cream cheese because I needed it and same thing with toothpaste I use the Tom's uh, anti-plaque and whitening wonderful prevents your skin from breaking out but also keep your teeth white. So that's Ralph's. Now from Trader Joe's, we got some walnuts, we got some chia seeds, both great fat sources. And I also already have whole eggs. So that's gonna be all my like fat source focus stuff, but I also need to pick up some pitas, picked up some Brussels sprouts, some soft and juicy mango, and then I picked up a few kiwis as well, just to get me through the next couple of days. So I already have spinach and mushrooms, but yeah, we got our micros, we got our fat sources, we're ready to eat after this. But I need to put on shorts because it's the toasty one. Um, it is literally, I told you earlier, it's 82 degrees. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put on shorts and then I'm gonna go live in our Facebook group here in like 25 minutes to talk about how I make my pita chips, which if you watched the last full day of eating, you already know. So there's that. We got dinner plans with Alicia tonight. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Update, I should have just vlogged this, but we just trimmed this one's nails. He does good for the most part because he is a ragdoll, so he just doesn't give two shits, but we haven't done that in a long time. And he keeps getting his claws stuck on everything and he got one of them stuck. Let me just, I'm not gonna be able to explain this to you unless I show you, but when I make his food, I stand right here and he reaches up and he got his claw stuck like on the top of this last night and he scared himself so bad. So I was like, okay, we need to trim these. So we just did that. Um, but the other big update is she showed up. She showed up, we started, only took 42 days, <laughs> but uh, yeah, period's here. So it'll be interesting to see how long this one lasts. It'll be interesting to see if I feel shitty. I just have like very mild, very mild cramps compared to what I used to have. So that's cool. Um, but here in like an hour, I'm getting ramen with Alicia. Like I said, I'm not gonna take you guys just cause I just wanna go, I just wanna chill. And what are you missing? You know, it's me getting ramen. So anyway, you're so cute, Arch. I love you. I'm sorry, but I love you. I am actually watching This Is Us. I'm all caught up on Euphoria. And if you guys are not watching Euphoria, well, first of all, there should be a lot of trigger warnings, <laughs> um, but it's so well done. It's so well done. So I caught up on that and now I'm catching up on This Is Us. Both of those shows right now are like doing a new episode every week and I, I can't wait to where I can like binge them. I just got too excited. So anyway, I'm gonna watch a little bit of This Is Us and which is the best show ever, by the way. If I could only watch one show for the rest of my life, it would be This Is Us because it touches on like the full spectrum of human emotions and the human experience it's just so good. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. There's like six or seven seasons. I think this is the sixth and it's the final one. So anyway, that's the update. And I'll probably catch up with you guys a little bit later, give you a little ramen review after I come back and we will close out the vlog. All right, we are back home from ramen. We went to this place called Underbelly in San Diego and I've been trying to go there for literally so freaking long and I just never made the plans to do it. So we went there 
so good um yeah ramen's the bomb and it's also a really cute vibe if you are in san diego go to underbelly in north park north park is just so dang cute like 30th street so many good places there just an adorable vibe so we love that but yeah i'm full my digestion is just like whatever <laughs> it's out the window at this point um and alicia and i were talking about this and it seems like sometimes i mean obviously there's like people who have gut issues and they are sensitive to things like dairy or gluten or whatever and i'm very grateful that that's not that like that's not something i have to deal with um because in my experience it's never been that like i eat a certain food and i'm like oh that food did it to me it's more so just like sometimes my digestion isn't going well and it's either because i'm ovulating or i'm pmsing or on my period like i know when it's hormonal like you know when you eat something that doesn't sit well with you and you know when it's like hormonal so i genuinely don't think i have any trigger foods I mean, maybe there's like foods I'm sensitive to, but I, I don't notice. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know. We were just talking about that, but I figured I'd add that little side note with digestion. I know right now it's just not in a good place because of the hormonal situation. And that's okay. That is okay because this is part of the human experience. This is part of the female experience. And if it means that someday I get to be a mom, then deal with it we must you know what i mean so anyway um today was a fun one i swear you guys i watch youtube like pretty consistently i really the only people i watch are like max tuning religiously because he uploads religiously i'll watch like a christian guzman or a heidi video w whenever they post but youtube's just different now but i really do enjoy watching i watch some beauty people too i watch like jack and hill um, I watch a couple of random people like this girl that I've just followed for so many years. There's a girl named Melissa Merck. She's Canadian. She's just super adorable. And um, I watched one earlier from Carly Christman. If you guys follow her, she's big on like home decor and like organization. So I don't know. I got like a random genre, but I, I love watching vlogs and it makes me want to vlog more. And I'm like, it's so easy. You know this, you say it all the time. But it just really depends on how I'm doing mentally. Like, obviously, I'm not going to come on here if I'm, like, going through a rough time, which I was a couple weeks ago. It was very sad. And obviously, the last... Sad because Sailor's gone. And obviously, the last couple of weeks now, I've just been trying to figure out this hormone stuff. And I am very much just someone who, like, I don't share things in real time because I am trying to figure it out for myself and I don't want to deal with, like, the opinions of others. So... Most of the time when I'm going through something, I go through it, I process it, I learn from it, and I try to share the lessons if it's like relevant. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's what we've been dealing with. So all that is to say, I would like to vlog more as long as I am in a good place. Um, but yeah, with that, we're gonna close out the video. I'm looking at Sir Archibald. Do you wanna say bye? You wanna say bye to the people? They love you. Come on. <laughs> No, oh, you purring. Yeah. Oh, I just love him so much. I always just want to like bury my face on his fur, but I don't want to get my makeup all over his fur, so. Oh, <clears throat> say bye. <laughs> oh, that's a nice asshole, Large. Thank you. <laughs> Come here, cutie. Okay. Say. <laughs> if you watched until now, we're taking all our good vibes. We're sh okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we're taking all our good vibes. We're sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.